Ladies and gentlemen, Clay Community, welcome. Tap in. Welcome to another build video where today's episode, we're gonna be covering how to make a perimeter lockdown build. You won't wanna miss this because there's a couple of tips and tricks that you need to keep in mind when making your P-Lot build. Let's not waste any time. Let's jump right on into it. All right, so you're gonna shoot a guard. We're gonna go ahead and make him. I make him typically right-handed. Now here's the kicker. Your badges are dependent on your height. We're going to make this P-Lock build a six foot eight P-Lock build. But coach, why would you make him a six foot eight P-Lock build? I make him six foot eight for this reason alone, because it puts all of your steel attributes in a tier two category, and it makes it very accessible and less badge points for you to spend. Let me go six, eight, I'm gonna go minimum weight. So I'm gonna work with the 85 speed. You can't get any of the Hall of Fame badges on perimeter defense and stuff. That's what makes it tough. That might be where we sacrifice at. Here's the question. Can you survive as a P-Lock without a 99? steel but i mean you needed that when you had to play cheesy guards right that were like 510 you needed that hall of fame clamps hall of fame menace hall of fame interceptor you needed that you get more strength at six foot eight so maybe you bank on your strength so then we're gonna go here the max the speed max the acceleration max the steel max the perimeter defense that gives us hall of fame menace gold glove gold interceptor gold pick dodger and hall of fame ankle braces vertical get that at a 60 90 stamina driving dunk i'm gonna give you quick drops off one on this i'm gonna give you the minimum passing threshold which is 70. this is where it becomes fun now everything else is up for grabs now how else do you want your p-lock to be you want your p-lock to be able to shoot or do you want to give him more of an elite perimeter like you want to take him in the park and all they're going to be is a slasher or do you want to bring him in the pro-am and be able to spot up from the corner like now it's all a question of how you want your P-Lock to be. So I gave, this is just the basic minimum of what you want on your P-Lock. The rest you can fill in with what you prefer. Now the question becomes, what else do you guys want to do with this P-Lock build? So I'm assuming if we're going to take this in the program, he's got to be able to shoot threes. You get an 85 three ball. Dear God, and you still have, you're at an 88 attribute. So you got an 85 three ball. I've not touched any of the playmaking. I wonder if you can make this a hash lock. Y'all, I broke the game. Oh my gosh. Does anybody else see what I just did? I maxed my midi and my three-point shot. I gave him ball handling. He now has quick drop dunks, which is off 80 driving dunks, 60 vertical. That's the minimum you need for quick drops. He can get clamps on gold, challenger on gold, glove on gold, menace on hall of fame. Did I just break the builder? Like no cap, did I just, did I just break the builder? I, I accidentally started making a hash lock. Yo, this build is crazy. He gets quick drops off of one with the 80 driving dunk and the 60 vertical. He has a 74 strength, which means he gets at least bronze bully. He's six eight with a seven five wingspan. He gets a three point shot at 85. He gets a midi at 86. His pass accuracy is at a minimum, but he's got pro dribble moves at 89 ball handle and 79 speed with ball. All right, so here's what you're going to want to do. Oh my gosh, this is so disgusting. All right, so you got 56 on the dry, on the close shot, driving layup 69, driving dunk 85, which gives you some contact dunks, gives you more pro dunk animations and things like that, uh, coupled with the 70 vertical, which you'll see all the way at the bottom. Mid range at an 86 and a three point shot at an 85, which will give you a total of 25 shooting badges. 76 on the free throw, pass accuracy is a 75, which you can move that from 75 to a 70 if you wanted to. It doesn't really matter, but I'm just going 75 on this one since it's more of a hash lock build. I think I just discovered a hash lock build, bro. 85 ball handling, you got a 79 speed with ball when it comes to the defensive side interior will just automatically move itself up but you're going to want to go set 92 with the perimeter defense 95 with the steel block 75 and then the defensive rebound is going to go up with your perimeter defense speed 84 acceleration 79 strength 74 which gives you the bronze bully badge vertical at 70 and stamina at a 91 but here's the question what badges do we get with it that is what we're going to find out if you run a lock build you already know what badges you want to go to you can do extreme clamps on both or you can do per uh, perimeter badge drop on both i'll just put one on each Jalen Brown, Desmond Bain, Eddie Jones. So for my finishing, I only have 10 badges. Okay, so let me Aerial Wizard. I'll do that Aerial Wizard Gold, Fearless Finisher Bronze, Giant Slayer, Acrobat, Pro Touch, and then I literally have a badge point that I don't really need. So I don't even know where to put it, honestly. I can't. I just realized I can't even put it on the Bully Badge. I can't afford it right now because I need at least 15 playmaking badges to be able to afford it. So this is what I did for the hash lock. So I manipulated it a little bit more. I gave it a 92 driving dunk and now it has enough badge points to be able to get the bronze bully badge. Low key, if I core that, I may be able to get limitless at least. 
I then went to the mid-range shooting and I have an 84 three ball. I got catch and shoot on goal, blinders, dead eye, all of which I can access, guard up, you name it. On the playmaking, 19 total playmaking. And on the defense and rebounding, I got menace, I got chase down, gold glove, interceptor, clamps, all of these are badges that are acceptable. And because I have an 82 vertical with an 84 speed, 89 acceleration, 74 strength, I get the elite contact dunks off of one. This is the hash lock build of NBA 2K23. Y'all let me know if you like this, y'all let me know. So I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna complete the build. And now we're gonna put badges on it. Like, I know this is gonna sound crazy, but I genuinely think we broke this. Attach this, and we're gonna max them all the way out, and we're gonna add the badges to them now. So now, here we go. So I'm gonna put Aerial Wizard. I'm gonna core badge that one. So he can catch Oops. Fearless Finisher on four. Giant Slayer. Gold. Acrobat. Silver. I'm gonna not put Aerial Wizard on. So it's Bronze Pro Touch. Silver Finisher. Bronze Bully. And Bronze Slithery. Those will be my finishing badges. Now here's the question. Now it's shooting. So for shooting, here's what you'll want to put on it. You'll want to put Amped on, you'll want to put Guard Up on, and you'll want to put Green Machine on. Core that catch and shoot badge. Blinders, I got two badge points to use. To knock down perimeter shots when waiting spot up patiently. That's exactly what a hash lock will do. So I'm going to add that onto Claymore. Let's keep it moving. All right, so for playmaking, here's what you want to have. Quick first step, mismatch expert. I, it's just one badge point, I might as well. Hyperdrive one badge point. Needle threader, you're gonna need that. You're gonna need needle threader if you're gonna be running the hash, hash lock. Unpluckable is a non-negotiable, as is handles for days. Unpluckable at gold is the highest I can get. So I'm gonna core my unpluckable, which means I still have nine badge points to use. So I'm gonna put this on, I'm gonna put killer combos on. Mm, you really need that handles for days though. Ooh, she, 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 she. I'm not tripping. You'll get an extra badge to your point. Here's what I'm gonna tell you. When you get an extra badge to your point because you'll get them in the my career game mode, I would encourage you to add one on playmaking so that you can get a killer combo at least on bronze. Handles for days and killer combos, both of them on bronze, but unpluckable, you'll go ahead and put that as a core badge. Quick first step on gold, needle threader on bronze, bailout on bronze, mismatch expert on bronze, and hyperdrive on bronze. I added another badge point to the tier one, tier two ones, actually specifically tier two. I need at least 10 playmaking badges to have bronze handle for days and bronze killer combos. I can't get those, so get them in your my career game mode. Now let's look at the defensive rebounding side. This is where your money's gonna be made. So this is what this looks like. You got a gold menace, gold pick dodger, gold glove, which allows you to get successful picks from, from the ball handler, gold clamps, and a silver challenger. Now, once you get one extra badge point, I would encourage you to also put this on the defensive rebounding so that you can put your challenger on a gold, and then you're golded out all the way through, and I think that's all you need. Or if you wanted to rock an interceptor, you can bump the challenger down to a bronze, and put your interceptor up even more if you want to. But I'm not putting it on this build largely because you're gonna be playing on ball. So if you're playing on ball, there's not many instances where you're gonna catch the ball as far as like an in, in the air type of a steal. But you will use glove a lot and that's it. 3v3, let's see what we made. It is a three and D two guard. That's it.